Insurance investigators will need heavy-duty equipment to comb through the destruction left behind by an early morning house explosion. The blast sent three people to the hospital, and the house is on Blackberry Lane in Hall County, right on Lake Lanier. And since 5, Channel 2's Carrie Cavanaugh learned that it could be two weeks before the investigators even show up. Carrie? That's right, Justin. That's what emergency officials tell me, that they're going to need that much time to get the equipment in here, to go through this debris and figure out exactly what triggered this explosion. I can tell you, within the last five minutes, additional firefighters have shown up to go through here trying to search for the family's dogs. I just screamed and grabbed my husband. I couldn't imagine what was happening. It was just as if a bomb had gone off. Neighbors up and down Blackberry Lane felt the early morning blast. Within a second, I heard a lot of glass shattering. Others heard it miles away. I actually live probably 10 or 12 miles from here, and I heard it. Viewers from Hall, Gwinnett, and Forsyth counties contacted our newsroom, saying they heard it too. The explosion so powerful, it leveled the 5,000-square-foot lakefront home. It's not a good way to start your day. And, uh, they're good people. An emotional Jim Wingo described how he rescued one of his neighbors. I lifted the wall up, and uh, he's able to slide out enough to where I could help him get up. 34-year-old Michael Clack's parents, Susan and Dan Johnson, were still buried. Eventually, firefighters freed them from the debris. All three are expected to survive. Now, the investigation. The insurance company is taking the lead. Fire officials say it could be up to two weeks before they can get the equipment in here to remove that rubble. Fire officials say early signs point to either a leak from a gas stove or from a line coming from a propane tank to that stove. I've been praying ever since I've been awake and for them and that we're, we're all right. Yeah, I can't believe it. The three members of the family are recovering tonight in three separate hospitals. But I want to show you the kind of equipment the fire department just brought in here. Again, within the last five minutes, they are trying to give this family some good news, searching for their three dogs. Live in Hall County, Carrie Cavanaugh, Channel 2 Action News. The three victims pulled from the wrecked house are all getting treatment at three separate hospitals this evening. They were evaluated, treated, and then we've got the appropriate physicians involved as far as to admit and then transfer these patients where they needed to go. Michael Allen Clack, the worst of the three, was airlifted to a burn unit in Augusta. Daniel Johnson remains at Northeast Georgia Medical Center, but could go home tomorrow. And a third victim is recovering at a hospital here in Atlanta. And we have a lot more in-depth coverage of this home explosion at our website. That includes a slideshow of the damage. Visit WSBTV.com for more updates.